thank you for coming here, standing together, tall, sad, but united. It's very important in times like that that we come together as a big, large human family. The lives we lost in New Zealand, 50 lives, 50 innocent lives. It wasn't a war, it wasn't a conflict. It wasn't a collateral damage or anything like that. We lost those innocent people worshipping their Lord in a peaceful setting. And that shook our hearts. And that brought us together. But what we need, we need to think about and ask questions for is, where do we go from here? Are we continue to come here or other places in the world to mourn those lives? Or are we going to speak up? We have seen media portraying, presenting, displaying different sorts of news items. And we actually keep sharing them, we talking about them, and we actually clicking them, tagging each other. That's it? This is the question we need to ask ourselves as human beings. It's just not the lives Muslims lost, or the Muslim community only mourns. It's us as human beings, the big human family that mourns. We need to ask this question, and we also also need to ask questions to our Canadian politicians to take measures to ensure that this doesn't happen here in Canada. Why Canada? Because the killer, the terrorist who killed those lives, have the name of the Quebec mass shooter written all over his guns, and he was actually giving him a hero image in his life. So this is why Canada has a significant value attached to this killing or the terror attack in Christchurch, New Zealand. So we need to think about it, we need to talk to our politicians, we need to reach out to every single person who is involved in policy making, who is involved in law making, to take measures to ensure safety, especially for places of worship. Not just masjid, not just Islamic centers, but every place of worship where people can go and worship their Lord, whoever they believe in, whoever they submit to, peacefully and without the fear of life.